Double up the knob and nuts, I'm warming up a warning But it's obvious I probably just get rowdy here with a rowdy bunch of crowd beat Growling animal sounds around me, insomnia Act zombie on the track, I'm bombed with this rap As long as I got songs, I'm mentally intact Cause my mental health needs plenty help and plenty wealth is what I need I barely have enjoyed this world we're back with another video, uh, Tom and Adam from their new album, The Brave 2. This one is called Race War. And I almost missed the notification for this, man. Um, almost missed this. But I'm glad to be here. I'm a little late. A little, a little late. But I'm here, man. Uh, super excited for this. And, oops, I just played it accidentally. It's all set, and we're gonna dive into Race War, Tom McDonald, Adam Calhoun. Let's go, man. Super excited for this. It's okay to be racist, as long as you hate on the Caucasians. Teaching white kids that their shades the same as- What? He starts off with, it's okay to be racist, right? So, be racist. As long as you hate on the Caucasians. Teaching white kids that their shades the yeah. same as school shooters and rapists. Maybe I'm tripping because the white children- Teaching white kids that their shades the same as school shooters and rapists. Maybe I'm tripping because the white children have been getting taught that they got white privilege by the white guys and the high heels who identify as the white women. I'm not proud to be white, but I'm fine with it because I'm not allowed to. Man, that's 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 Tom for you, man. He's gonna push the envelope. He's gonna make sure he does that and not be scared to hold back on whatever his thoughts are, man. And that's the example right here. Taught that they got white privilege by the white guys and the high heels who identify as the white women. I'm not proud to be white, but I'm fine with it because I'm not allowed to have pride in it because the colonizers and the white biggest made white history my business. I ain't never gonna give a damn if you like me. I ain't gonna trip when they stereotype me. I'm a white boy and a white boy like me knows that all lives matter. Fight me when I was younger. Oh, uh, damn. That flow right there. I have pride in it because the colonizers and the white biggest made white history my business. I ain't never gonna give a damn if you like me. I ain't gonna trip when they stereotype me. I'm a white boy and a white boy like me knows that. That, that's that's the kind of flow he's using here, man. I mean, he's he's changed up his flow on this album. I'm super excited to listen to the album, though. Uh, the Brave Two. I think it's out on. If it's out on Spotify, I I could just react to the entire album, right? Let me know if if you guys would want me to do that because I probably could. Um, but I also heard from you guys in the comments that Tom normally wants the, the reactors to react to the music videos he puts out officially right so i i'd like to honor that and stay uh with that if that's what he what he said in the past but let me know guys let me know in the comments if if that's if that's cool because i'd love to do that but if tom says has said in the past that he wants reactors to only check out and react to the music videos he puts out then obviously yeah, I'm not gonna do that. I'm not gonna do the Spotify thing, but yeah, let's flow though. Let's go. I'm a white boy and a white boy like me knows that all lives matter. Fight me when I was younger, they taught me to never see color. Mm. Every man as if he was my brother, but now that we're grown up, we hate one another for all of the ways that we struggle and suffer. They come from blood. That's true, man. That's true. When you're young, when you're a kid, uh, I mean, you you have this innocence, right? And for kids, it does not matter who the other person is, what color the other person is what background what i mean how the other person talks kids don't see that shit it's just when they grow up they get um they get fit into the system and the society and the people around you dictate how you should respond to certain people how you should respond to people with certain color it's just so it's just so messed up man me to never see color to treat every man as if he was my brother but now that we're grown up we hate one another for all of the ways that we struggle and suffer they coming for blood and we running for cover the government wants us divided and dumber addicted and drug in the gutter so we never wake up and never recover is it just me or is i mean i'm pausing a lot guys because that's that's what i do when i really want to stop and appreciate what's going on in the song so is it just me or tom has really upped up up upped his game lately for we running for cover the government wants us divided and dumber addicted and drug in the gutter so we never wake up and never Call me culture vulture cause I rap good I don't pop sands and smoke backwoods But they call me a wigger and label me Hitler and hate like I'm wearing a clan hood It ain't left hmm. or right or black or white It's good and evil I leave folks hate normal people United we stand and divide and we fall America we gotta get real You were segregated that was not fair You were enslaved they did not care But you were never on a plantation And my generation was not there That's trauma in your DNA Causing what we see today I pray to God you staying strong Don't wanna see no man in pain Your white folks 
folks, I'm embarrassed. Some of y'all are such Karens. That prejudice you inherited was racism from your parents. Get that poison out your veins. Whites yeah. and blacks are all the same. They want us in our graves. Just let me try to explain. I swear they want us in a... Man, the way he ended his verse, it reminded me of... Uh... His track, Don't Look Down, he kind of had the same inflection in his voice in certain parts of that song. So, that was pretty cool. Racism from your parents, get that poison out your veins. Whites and blacks are all the same. They want us in our graves, just let me try to explain. I swear they want us in a race for dying every day for we drop. Might as well get that what? Is it, did, did he say tool? Because I think that's gonna rhyme here. It makes sense. If you born black, you lose, might as well go get that. Yeah, tool. It's gotta be tool. Tool as in a pistol or something, right? A weapon? If you born black, you lose, might as well go get that. You gon' die before you 25 get shot over your shoes. You gon' get killed by police even when you follow the rules. If you listen to the news, you gon' believe all this is true. True, I ain't feel no white guilt. They don't lie for me when I'm killed. I guess white lies don't matter, sad, but that's the way that I feel. I feel like they feel like like I don't know what they all call me. Cis white male, bigot racist, he's a Nazi. That's not me. I'm not one of these white liberal commies who think black America needs allies in they on me. Your neighborhoods all gay and claim you pro-black, but you faking guys are dying on the pavement. All your hashtags won't save them. That ain't gangster. It's not even pausing. All your hashtags are not gonna save them. That's a very, very interesting line, man, because I think I've talked about this before in some video, I don't even remember now, but people, I mean, for people being woke and all that crap, it's like, oh, I'm gonna put up a hashtag, I'm gonna put up a story on Instagram, I'm gonna put up a story on Facebook, on WhatsApp, whatever social media app you use, I'm gonna put it up there and I've done my part. Nah, man, you've not done your part. You're just putting it up there because that's trending and that's cool and everybody's like, you know, so it's it's just, it's it's more like the ch shift in mentality is what people need and acceptance is what people need and that's something that you create on your own in your circle and around you and that kind of, if everybody's doing that, so, I mean, it, it applies to everything, right? So this kind of racism is not in my part of the world, right? We have different kinds of racism here, but we do have it. Uh, regardless, so yeah, man. Hashtags won't save them, that ain't gangster. People begging for their life still. I know white people who can't afford to pay their life bill who might feel like they're the ones who lose in their life. When the worst thing you could be is not ashamed to be white. White privilege is a system they position for division. If you black, you go to prison. If you white, your life is different. Take some money, race, religion, sprinkle it some ammunition, and make everyone believe that the other team is the villain. I ain't pro black. I ain't pro Every color turns up bones one day when you bury them. Whites and blacks are all the same. They want us in our grave. Just let me try to explain. I swear they want us in a race for dying every day for whose lives matter. against them but it's you against me ain't nobody gonna win everybody gonna see that the color of your skin don't change the color that you bleed i swear they want us in a race for dying every day for whose lives Wow, man, now, that's a powerful song. Every song that I've listened to from this album are the ones he, they put out a video for. And how do I rank these now? Hmm. 
Uh, that's a tough one, but because he's he's talked. I mean, they've talked about this before in various songs, but they still do it every time in a different way. I mean, what am I saying, man? I mean, they do it again in a different way because I believe that you can't just talk about a topic in one song and just forget about it, right? You need to keep on talking about it because it's important for people to hear this. People who are fans of his across the globe, especially in America, need to hear this. Um, and for them to push out these kinds of lyrics and this kind of a topic um, in a song like this, which is catchy and at the same time, I mean, with a chorus, which is catchy. I mean, I've said this a hundred times before uh, in, in, in my time reactions that, I mean, that's, that's, that's the whole that's the whole game here because you put out a song which is not catchy and if it's a shit song I don't I mean nobody's gonna care what you talk about right with Tom it's just that he puts out songs which are super catchy production value is through through the roof because he knows his shit right he knows his craft and he's able to talk about these kinds of things I mean that that, that takes a lot of courage man and we're here for it well so let me know what you guys think about this particular song and how do you rank these from all the videos that have that have, that have come out because I haven't heard the album. I'm sure you guys have. Most of you must have had the had the CDs by now. But for people who've heard the album, I mean that's a different story. But for people who've just seen the videos that he's put out, I think there those are four songs, right? From Brave Two. How do you rank these? What are your rankings for these tracks, man? Because I just feel he keeps upping his game in every every other song, right? Uh, yeah, let me know. And I shall catch you guys in the next video very soon, man. I'm on my Buy Me A Coffee schedule, all the requests that people have made. Um, I'll be back on that schedule soon. But, yeah. Let me know. Catch you guys in the next video. Until next time. See ya. Bye-bye. No. कहते मैं अंडररेटेड अगर नहीं हूं अंडररेटेड तो हूं अंदर तेरे गेट के हाई डेफिनेशन विद रिदम जैसे एड के लोंडे करते फॉर गोल मोल